So welcome back. As promised, I am doing what is in our suitcases video. So first things first is our cases. Now these are the in-between size between a carry-on size hard shell and a large family case. So they are the medium size and they are American tourist bags, I think. Yeah, they have an 80 on the front. I'm pretty sure they're American tourist bags. They are slightly different because they didn't have two of the same, which is fine. I'm pretty sure this size is slightly smaller than this one, but they work really nicely. They have handles. They have the pulley handle thing. Uh, they also have a free combination lock on the sides. Uh, they both have that so that the, the zip uh, things are locked in which is really nice. And then we've just got our luggage tags on the top just so that we know they're ours because they are so indistinguishably boring and black. Um, I wanted to make sure we had something on there that kind of I could like recognize and pick my cases up and not get them mistaken for somebody else's because that would be my worst nightmare. But yeah, they are really cool cases. We got them for a blinding deal at House of Fraser. Um, both pretty much, I think 50% off. Um, so these were around 50, 60 pound each. We did buy this and a carry-on size and realized that was not gonna happen. Uh, so we ended up getting a bigger one and this is what we've got to take with us. Would I have liked to go smaller? I think so, but realistically five people, I think to start with on our journey, um, these are really gonna be great. So I'm gonna have to really squat down. Um, I may, my head may be cut off for the majority of the video. Um, but it's really difficult to try and get you all in frame and the suitcase as well. And um, with these cases, you have usually this really big um, section that you can zip up on one side. And then on this side, it just has the elastic um, straps to keep it all in, uh, which is really nice. This is really great and compresses quite a lot of stuff. So that's also really good. <laughs> This is predominantly the kids case. They do hold a few adult things as well, just because um, I may have taken more clothes than I should have. Uh, but to start with, I'm gonna start on this side. Um, in here, we have toiletries. This is quite a large bag, but I, I, I do need a lot of toiletries. Um, so all in here is gonna be uh, like shampoos. Um, I've got face cream in here. I've got my hair stuff because I have curly hair. It needs a lot more um, TLC than normal people hair does. Um, I've got face cloths. I've got a little sewing kit in here. Um, I've also got just cleanser and extra sun tan lotion as well. And in literally nearly every bag, we've got a pen. I don't wanna be one of those people that like really needs a pen all of a sudden and can't find one. So there's a pen in practically everything. I've put one in um, and then just some hair clips and um, some needles just in case we need to sew anything. And this was from Primark and it came with three um, bags with it, but this I found is really good for all the really big stuff. I still need to put some shampoo in here and a few toiletries that we've been using uh, since day at Kev's mum's. But other than that, that is it. Oh, and this one fell out. Yeah, toners, all that kind of stuff, kind of bulk skincare, bulk shampoo, uh, my razor will go in here as well. I need to put that in and that's that. We've also got some extra books. Um, this one is my book, uh, June. I haven't read it yet. I watched the film. I loved it. Um, and another business book uh, for Kev because he apparently needs more than one. So that's more books. Again, this may have to change. It depends how heavy it gets and also depends how much more we need to put in the cases because we do still need to add some stuff that we are living with at the moment. This is a old lunch box that is absolutely full to the brim with uh, Lego. Now, our kids don't have a lot of toys. If you watched our carry on video, you would have seen uh, all the toys they are taking is a very small amount, but they love Lego and we couldn't bring ourselves to part with Legos. And we know that the kids absolutely love playing with it. So this is full of Lego. <laughs> Um, but it's a lunchbox size, so they've got quite a lot of stuff in here and they mainly took a lot of characters and building things like big plates and 
um, stuff like that. So that goes right at the bottom here. It fits really, really nicely. I know it's more of a luxury item, like we could have foregone the Lego, but the kids love it. And to make them feel a bit like home, it's worth having something that I think will make them kind of calm down and have a nice, quiet, peaceful afternoon session with their Legos. So yeah, it's important to us. And that's, I think, what you need to think about when you're packing is if you're going on a really long kind of trip or a trip with no end, which we are kind of in the middle of, um, to pack things that you know that your family couldn't really live without and you know that if you had it, it would be a nice to have. So it make you feel more in a routine and more um, kind of in that homely environment, even though you're traveling a lot and you're doing things that you don't normally do. I have a mirror. Um, when you're a YouTuber, like we are trying to be, <laughs> Um, it's really difficult. I, ha I use an iPhone at the moment predominantly, which means that there is no front facing camera use at all. I need to use the back one and I can't see myself all the time. Having a mirror is really, really in important to me. Um, it makes life a lot easier. I don't know whether I'm going to take this in eventually or not, or whether or not I just couldn't be bothered to kind of keep clearing more stuff out. So I ended up just throwing it in the case. Uh, but even if I just take the mirror out of the frame, um, that may be helpful just to kind of stand up and make sure that I can see what I'm doing. I have a lot of reusable sanitary products. Um, I tend to wear towels, so I didn't want to um, use disposables. So I bought a few, not as many as I usually use, but I bought a few so I can kind of do half and half. Um, and again, these are just really helpful and they save a lot of costs and money. And I've been using them for ages. They're just homemade Terry sanitary towels I just basically sew together myself um, but you know obviously being a woman they're important. There's a few extra pieces of clothing that need to go in the vacuum pack bags like pajamas and stuff uh, that basically the kids have been wearing recently that I do need to put in and then I have my cross body bag that I basically crochet this myself. It needs a zip but um, I didn't get around to finishing it so hopefully I can finish it over in the Philippines and sew on a zip but it's just a little crossbody bag because, um, I don't know, I fancied making one and I really like how it turned out. So yeah, I'll be wearing that. Over this side, we still have some more things. We have the kids' shoes. These are Harry's. They're like an open toe sandal with an open back. He's also gonna have a pair of trainers that he's gonna wear on the plane. All the kids have only got two pairs of shoes each and that's it. So one pair will be going in the suitcase and one pair, the kind of more heavier, um, thicker style of shoe that's a bit more bulkier in a case will be worn on the plane. So these are Harry's kind of more lighter shoe options. These are Oslo's shoes that he's just got some little jelly shoes he got for his birthday. Um, again, really light, super easy to wear, comfortable and waterproof because obviously if we're going to the beaches or splash parks or a pool, then he can wear these wherever. And then on this side, there's a bit of a mixture of things. Uh, we have a really large kind of beach towel blanket. It is super thin. It could be used as a thin towel or a cover up or basically a towel on the beach. So it's really nice and easy and it's super thin and lightweight. So it's not really taking too much space for us. A lot of the underwear we've packed ha is actually loose purely because we don't know whether we're going to need spares on the plane or how much each person is taking. So that is the only thing that we've done that is um, loose is socks and pants. So these are Kev's pants. Uh, I think he's taking around six to seven pairs. We also have socks for the kids. So these are all Elowen socks. And again, I don't think there's many. I think they've all got around three or four pairs each because it's a hot country. You're not gonna really wanna wear too many pairs of socks. Also got Oslo socks in here as well. We do need to kind of put these in a little bit neater, uh, but these are the socks. Elowen sandals, she has a pair of Tevas. She got these for her birthday in May uh, because we knew we were gonna be going on this trip. So she got these and they are super lightweight. Again, really, really nice to pack in a case because they don't take up a lot of space and they're waterproof. So they're gonna be great for the beaches. Um, and they're gonna be just really comfy to walk around in general. So she's got those ones. And then her other shoes, she's got more of like a high top Converse style shoe. And then everybody has got a waterproof coat. These we got at Trespass in the UK. Uh, they're called the Quick Pack Jackets. Um, Elowen's got a kid's one um, and it's just a pink and blue. And Harry has got an adult's one in extra, extra small because he, he, we weren't really finding his size. 
and, and he's just like a mustard color and these just go all down the side and they pack really nice and compact we also have some armbands we bought these just in case because i'd rather take some than not take any and then have to buy new ones and um, so we've got some armbands uh, we've also got some goggles we've got a couple of pairs of goggles um, just in case they want to go in the sea or swimming and then they are also going to be holding the travel pump for our backpack bags which by the way i absolutely love they are a really really good idea especially if you've got a lot of clothing that you're taking and you're not sure what you're going to need and what you're not going to need these backpack bags are brilliant i think they compress more than a packing cube would unless you bought the special compression ones uh, but they were also getting quite pricey because uh, obviously we need more than a few because there's five of us um so we ended up getting a pack of six backpack bags for like 10 pound and it came with a travel pump and that just goes down here we also have underwear we just kept it wrapped up in the packs that it comes in so oslo's got a pack of 10 because he is still very little and he goes through them quite a bit and then elowins are in here as well she's got another pack of 10 again she does go through them quite quickly so we've got underwear in here that's all packed and ready to go so clothing they are all in these extremely lightweight and thin backpack bags it's just all in here and compressed and it works really really well and we're so happy that we got these because they are a godsend they're so thin you can see look there's literally nothing in there basically and then this one's harry's which has deflated a little bit but it has lasted quite a few days um so it's not a problem because i did do these over a week ago so I'm just going to go through all the clothing as quickly as possible. This is going to be like the longest video I'm ever going to make. But bear with me, guys. If you're interested in what to take clothing wise for children to um, hot tropical climates and you're going to be doing it for an extended period of time like we are, then this may be really, really helpful. And so to start with swimwear, Harry has got one UV swimsuit um, and he's also got a pair of shorts that go with it. He then also has another pair of spare swim shorts. All the kids basically have uh, one swimming costume and one UV swimsuit just to protect themselves in the sun when it does get really hot. We also tried to buy materials that are breathable and um, comfortable and light and airy. So most of our clothing is either cotton or linen and we did not buy any of the kids clothes new. They are all from Vinted. We sold all of our wardrobe basically. And what we did with the money was we basically bought all new clothes for their trip. So we ended up spending next to nothing. So that is a great tip. If you are selling the whole of your life away and moving somewhere amazing and Vinted is something that you can use in your country, I would strongly suggest it because it's basically saved us so much money. He has a couple of shorts. These are linen ones. He also has two that he is currently uh, changing between to wear at the moment. And he also has another pair that he's gonna be wearing on a plane, a much more thicker uh, jersey material. And then he's also got two pairs of trousers. These are inside out, apologies. These are linen trousers and they are brand new with tags. And I think I got these for like three pound and they are by Next. They're like a kind of beige linen and they roll up on the side so that he can turn them into three quarter lengths if it does get too hot, which is a really awesome feature, especially when you're in a hot country. He also has a second pair of linen trousers. These are from Zara and they fit him amazing. Um, again, really light, really loose. I know linen does crease, but it's worth it to have something that's breathable and comfortable for him. T-shirt wise, he has quite a few. He has one vest top uh, with no arms. And then the rest are just short sleeve t-shirts. So he's got uh, this one. These were all just from Primark. Uh, we found that some things on Vinted were cheaper to buy and other things weren't. Um, so it ended up that t-shirts for Harry for his age were actually cheaper to buy brand new from Primark over buying um, secondhand ones on Vinted. So these are all just basketball top. We know the Philippines, they love basketball. So he's got a basketball t-shirt. And yeah, just neutral colors, all short sleeves so that they can cover his shoulders. And um, yeah, that makes five t-shirts excluding the ones he's gonna wear on the plane and take with him. 
Harry will also have a few pairs of socks and obviously underwear as well. And he's also got his plain outfit, which consists of one uh, hoodie, a t-shirt, and those thick shorts I was talking about, as well as a pair of trainers. And that's his plain outfit, which will not be packed, obviously. Um, but we're trying to get the kids to wear all their heavy clothing so that it reduces all the space in the case. So all their jumpers and hoodies will be worn on the plane, including mine and Kev's as well. This is gonna be a long video. So in Ellen's suitcase, obviously, again, one swimming costume. She's had this one for ages. And we got her UV swimsuit brand new because I couldn't find one on Vinted in the end. Uh, so this is just a Primark one. And it's an all-in-one with shorts as well to protect her from the sun. Shorts-wise, she has three pairs. She has a kind of thick denim material green pair. She has a really lovely like seersucker um, muslin cloth um, beige pair, which are really, really nice. And then she also has these um, like little pantaloon style gingham pair. And then dress-wise, she has two, I believe. Um, she's got this one, so a nice light cotton dress. This was from M&S, again, on Vinted. So these are all second-hand clothes. Um, I will tell you if they were brand new, but otherwise they are all from Vinted. And then she's got this dress as well, which is just, just it's quite big for her at the moment, but she will grow into it. She's not really a dress kind of girl. She does prefer shorts and t-shirts. So she has only got two of those. And then she's also got a couple of jumpsuits for the cooler days. She's got this um, denim one with long trousers on it uh, with the buttons on the front, which is really nice. And then she's also got this gingham uh, purple one, uh, which is a little bit lighter and it's got shorts on it instead. And then top wise, excluding her plain outfit, she has got uh, six t-shirts or tops. Um, this one is the one that goes with the shorts. We got this in a set on Vinted, which is really nice. Um, she's also got this little green cotton one. Again, a lot of these clothes are really great quality. They have some nice stains. A lot of them are organic cotton as well, which is really nice. And she's got this one that she's had for a long time. We took this with us from her old wardrobe. And then she's got a few strappy ones. This one's from Zara, again, secondhand. And then she's also got this Gap organic cotton one secondhand on Vinted as well. Lovely. This is going to be so nice and light for her when she does eventually get some sunshine. And then she's just got this little organic cotton H&M t-shirt again secondhand. Uh, so that is all her clothing, excluding obviously socks, knickers and also her plain outfit, which again is a really thick hoodie, leggings and a long sleeve top. So she'll have a long sleeve top with her to take with her just in case it does get cooler in the north where we're going to end up going. Um, but yeah, that's all her clothes. And then our youngest son, who is four, does have slightly more clothing purely because he does go through it very quickly. Um, he has a little bit more than the other two. And he'll also have a lot more spares in my carry-on so that he can obviously get changed if he does have an accident or spill something. Um, so swimsuit wise, he has a little pair of red shorts. These are from his old wardrobe. We've just kept them. Uh, he's got this uh, John Lewis... Um, UV swimsuit, talk Rebecca. He has this John Lewis UV swimsuit, again, vintage. And then from his old wardrobe, we have this old um, raincoat. It still fits in really well. And if he doesn't want the all-in-one with the trousers, he can just wear this. He also has this trespass all-in-one uh, rain outfit. And it's got the trousers and it's also got a hood, which is really nice. So we've kept that from his um, old wardrobe again. Shorts wise, he does have a couple in rotation at the moment. I'm pretty sure he has like two pairs in rotation, but we've also got him a few pairs of shorts to take with him. So these are all just cotton shorts, um, nice and breathable and super baggy on him as well. So they'll be really comfortable, which is what's gonna be the most important thing out in the Philippines. And then he also has this linen pair that we got from Vinted, which again, super light material. And if there's an iron where I go, I can iron all the linen clothes and they'll be fine. He also has a couple of all-in-ones just because these are gonna be super easy to put on and off. He's got this really lovely organic cotton one from H&M. And then he's also got this brand new one, I think we got from Vinted. And it's just a short version. So it's just got shorts instead and the buttons on the front. He lives in one of these that's kind of getting a bit yucky and it's got a few holes in. So I made sure that I got clothing that I know they really love to wear and that will be super, super comfortable. He has hundreds of t-shirts. If I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure in the carry-on I've got another four. Um, but 
These are some of the tops that he's got. These are either from his birthday that his aunt got him or they are vintage. That's just basically the gist now. Um, and these are just all the t-shirts he's got. Again, he does go through clothing very quickly. So he has got slightly more than the other two do. Um, but it's it, I'd rather be kind of prepared than um, him run out of clothing every two days or day or so. And the last one, and as I said, I know he's got a few t-shirts that are going in his uh, carry-on, so that is why they're not all there. I reckon he's got around 10 t-shirts in total that we are taking with us. He then also has two hoodies because he's littler. We need to just make sure his temperature is as regulated as possible. This is more of a beachy one. It is very, very thin. It was from the White Company on Vinted. Lovely, lovely um, find. And his other one is more of a thick jersey, but this is like a thin kind of beach cover up style um, hoodie. So it's really nice as well. And that is all of his clothing. His shoes that he's taking on the plane are kind of very similar to Harry's open sandals. Um, Oslo doesn't really like very closed shoes, so he has kind of two different styles of sandals. If he does end up needing some shoes, we can obviously go and get them when we're out there. But that is all of his stuff. I also forgot to mention that all the kids have two pairs of pyjamas each, um, a long kind of wintery pair, like if it's cooler in the nighttime, and a short sleeve and short pair as well. So they will also be packed up, but again, they are wearing pyjamas at the moment, and a lot of their clothing is either in the wash or it's thrown on the floor somewhere. So I don't have everything, but pajama wise, they've got two pairs each. After a lot of reconfiguration, especially with the backpack bags, uh, top tip if you're using them, make sure you kind of keep clothes as flat as possible. The more you roll or like fold bulky clothing up and like make it thicker, the whole backpack bag will be pointless. It will just be a thick situation. Um, so I managed to reconfigure the clothing so that it was all laying as flat as possible and they all got in there with the kind of blanket um, towel thing on the top. So now this looks a lot less full and we actually have quite a bit of space left. So I may have to put the medicine bag and the laptop in here. And yeah, that is our lives down to the first suitcase. The mirror is going, that was an executive decision. And this case is pretty much done. Depending on what I can get in the other one, and how that looks, uh, then this will be quite nice and light to take with us. But yeah, it looks all right to me. It's a win. So this is mine and Kev's case. I'm gonna whiz through a lot of this. So in this area, again, there's a really nice compression zip, which is lovely, it keeps everything in. A lot of this stuff is loose. So there's a lot of loose underwear and a lot of loose um, socks and stuff that do need to go in eventually. It's just we were rushing and hence why we were having to do this really quickly. So these all need to go in our backpack bags eventually. My underwear is still in the bag. I got some new ones and I'm going to keep it like that because it's just easier. So that's going to stay in these. And then we also have a couple of rain jackets. Kev has the same one as Harry and I've got just a black one. Again, they come in the bags. These are the quick pack jackets from Trespass really nice jackets we tried them on and hopefully they will do the trick in the lovely monsoon rain 
Shoe wise, Kev's got a pair of these knitted Adidas shoes. I believe they're Adidas. I got these on Vinted for him at a really good price. So he has these to walk around in and travel. He also has a pair of Birkenstocks. These are pretty much brand new. He got these for Christmas from me at a very good deal, by the way. If you want Birkenstocks, buy them at Christmas time because these are great. And shoe wise for me, I have my really trusty Birkenstocks. These are tried and tested. If you have extremely wide feet and you hate your feet being enclosed or you can't stand being uncomfortable when you're walking, go for Birkenstocks. I go for the male versions because they are wider than the female narrow ones. They're amazing. I also picked up a really cheap pair of trainers from Primark. I find for my feet that the Primark trainers stretch out really easily and they're really comfortable from the get-go. I've tried Vans, I've tried uh, Super Gars, Super Gras. I've tried loads of different shoes that are a lot more better quality than Primark, obviously, but they are so uncomfortable. I wanted to bring my Vans, but I just can't do it. They're just too much. I don't want my feet rubbing in the middle of a busy city when all I want to do is be comfortable. So I have these Primark trainers. And then for the plane, I'm going to be wearing my Blood and Stone boots. These are going to be great for hiking and walking around. Um, and for the rainier weather, because they are weatherproof, these are amazing. Again, a good boot if you've got wide feet compared to like DMs or other kind of branded boots. I also have a couple of pairs of Haviana flip-flops. Um, one's going to be going in my carry-on, the other one in here. They take up next to no room and they'll be great for the pool, showers, beaches, etc. So I have a couple of those uh, to go in. One standard flip-flop and another one with a back on it just to make it a bit more comfier to wear now when it comes to clothing i have got probably the most clothes um out of everybody this has reinflated so i can get these ones out for you um but i have a couple of pairs of loose trousers just these kind of beige cotton ones and then i also have a pair of linen ones as well again super light unfortunately i have to buy all my clothes brand new purely because i am plus size uh, and Vinted is a little bit spotty when it comes to clothing for larger ladies. <laughs> and also I know Asia, their clothing runs slightly smaller and I didn't want to get caught out going out there and not having any clothes that would fit me. So I made sure that my wardrobe was pretty much complete compared to everybody else's where they can probably get replacement clothing, especially the kids. So I also have a really loose dress, just super simple and airy and just a little bit strappy and yep perfect for the hot weather i got a couple of swimsuits i've got this brown one from asos and then i've also got this one as well which is from asos but it's not the asos brand i believe this one was uh peak and bow peak and bow and it's just this really sweet little gingham one again i found it really difficult to find swimsuits that covered me where i wanted to be covered and were simple but you know apparently that's just not easy anymore i also have a couple of pairs of legging shorts i just got these from h&m so they go down to the knee because i don't particularly like having too short of a short and then i've got just this old blue zara shirt that i've always had for ages which is really nice and light as well and then I also bought recently this kind of long khaki green uh, shirt dress from H&M as well. I've also got some more clothes on this side and this one is Kev's. He basically just has six t-shirts um, and two pairs of shorts as well as uh, one pair of swim shorts. That is literally what he's got. So it's super boring. So I'm not going to bother taking it all out because there's really no point. But that is literally all he has. And on the plane, he'll be wearing a hoodie, a pair of jeans and a T-shirt. And that's literally it. So that is all of that section. And then this section is a little bit of a mess. Um, we've got some leftover children's books. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these kids books. Kev insisted on taking all of them because a few of them are our Christmas books. If we are there still till Christmas, it would be nice to have some of our old traditions come with us. But I don't know. I also have this crochet bag again that I did make and it's just a shopper. It's going to be really nice just to use uh, for shopping 
and taking out on those beach days it can be a beach bag as well um yeah i got quite crafty for this trip <laughs> there's also a shaver in here uh it just looks like this and it's actually a head one specifically so when the boys mainly harry and kevin they get their hair done by me all the time so we were going to take this just to save money on haircuts so the one dollar haircut videos may not be coming but um yeah i've got that with me as well as a comb and a pair of hairdressing scissors so if i want to trim my own hair or my daughter's hair or oslo's hair because he has long hair uh, then i can just trim our hair when we need to and that all goes in this pouch like that uh, kev has one belt we also have our medicine bag in here i still have a few things to add to this but primarily we are completely full with medicine we have loads of cow pole at the bottom i've got gaviscon i've got antacid tablets for my digestive issues i've got two tubes of germaline i've got some large sterile um dressings i've got plasters i've got resuscitation face shields i've got nail clippers and then i've also got a few sterile eye washes and plasters lots and lots of plasters at the bottom there's two bottles of cow pole one for harry's age and one for the younger children and there's also got the syringes as well as a lot of paracetamol and that is pretty much it i think there's some diarrhea medication in here as well and then some of my supplements will be going in here as well as that again more sanitary products these are just disposable ones for me i also have my fold down easel this is a luxury. It folds down to this big. It is quite light. It's not overly heavy um, and it fits really well in our cases. I am hoping to do some art out there and paint. So I really didn't want to get rid of all of my art equipment. I've got a separate case with all my art stuff in it, but I didn't want to let go of the thing that makes me the most happy. So I did bring the easel with me. And then in here is my second bag of clothing. And in here is just dresses. So I have one, two, three four dresses i believe and that is literally it four or five dresses in here as well as a night dress and a pair of shorts for sleeping in which is just here um i won't get it out because it takes me so long to put these back in um but yeah really boring i live in dresses i prefer dresses to shorts and i prefer them to kind of separate i think they're really easy and i'm a lot more comfortable so i have a few for night time and a few for the day but that's pretty much it on my clothing and that is one empty case now the kids case has a lot of space in it so i may have to reconfigure this but i'm going to put this all back and hopefully everything will fit really really nicely I'm bringing a case of skincare this is on top of our kind of bigger bulkier um, toiletries this is just for me I know it's excessive it's really really thick it's annoying however it has everything I'm gonna need uh, it's got perfume which I got in these like little brushes from Zara I've got some mini tweezers that I got from Primark I have all my skincare and sun lotion. I've got the Bondi Sands. I've got a couple of tubes of that. I've got nail polish, vitamin C, retinol, uh, salicylic acid. Basically, I'm a lot more interested in keeping my skin cared for than having makeup. So I went heavier on the skincare and I went a little bit lighter on the makeup. Um, but this is going to really see me through for quite a few weeks. Um, hence why I bought all of it. I would love to have beautiful perfect skin and not have to worry about this kind of thing i don't um so i've got a lot of skincare and that is going in this big bag here and then i also have this um i think this is called the flat lay uh makeup bag full of makeup now this has also got a lot of stuff that i am kind of last minute using whilst i'm still here in the uk and then a lot of that is going to get thrown away once it has been used as much as possible but makeup wise 
I'm going to be taking one face palette and this just has all your basic shades to look pretty uh, powder wise. Um, I also have another face palette and this is just for uh, creams. So this is just cream. I do prefer cream um, products, but I know they do slip around in the heat. So I have the powder versions to set the cream and then that's those two kind of face products done. I also have a small concealer and a small bottle of face tint. I'm not a big foundation lover, so these two should see me through. And hopefully eventually, once my face gets lovely and tan, I can ditch these and I can just rock the bare skin look. I've got one liquid blush. This was just a cheap Makeup Revolution one. Um, it's like a liquid, so that's gonna be really, really nice on those days where I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup. I've got a few different eyebrow products. These two I've had for quite a long time and they are on their last leg. So I'm just gonna be using these up and then moving over to these two. These are incredibly small and light. These are just the e.l.f. Um, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and their setting, their wow brow, sorry, um, in a dark brown shade. Because my eyebrows are really not there, that's the one thing I am really self-conscious about. So I do like eyebrow products. They are the thing I use the most. I've got a brow mascara. I've got just a highlight stick. Again, really simple and small and slim. And it's a cream product. Again, I love cream products. So that's gonna be really nice to have. I do have a powder. I don't really wear powder that often, but it is really good if it is extremely hot and I am melting. Um, so I do have a powder and this does have a mirror, which is really nice. And I have quite a few eye base products. Uh, again, a lot of these are old and I've just decanted them or kind of taken them out of their packaging and made it smaller. Um, just to use up the remaining ones I have and then I can just work on the ones that are kind of a lot more products. So I have one of the NARS eyeshadow bases, but it's tinted, so that's really nice to wear. Again, liquid cream products I just really love. Um, I decanted a MAC um, shadow pot uh, in the brown, one of the brown colours. I also decanted a um, Charlotte Tilbury um, cream eyeshadow as well. So they're now in small plastic pots and they weigh barely nothing. I've also got this old kind of glittery um, Urban Decay eyeshadow in Stargazer just for a little bit of a glamorous night if I'm feeling it. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna even wear makeup at this rate. I just wanted to have a few products that could get me through if I do. I decanted a couple of um, eyeshadows into this really small palette and I've just bought two of my favorite colors and then I have this really old brown eyeliner and that's literally it. I have a couple of um, brushes and uh, a couple of sponges but nothing um, too crazy and that's literally it the rest of the stuff is being used every day as much as possible and then I'm just going to get rid of it and this will eventually be half the size and it will be really compact and fit into my case really well hopefully but yeah I forgot to mention the makeup and the skincare uh, but it is a big part of my routine it's something I kind of don't want to have to let go of if I don't end up wearing any of it I can just get rid of it it's not a big deal but for the minute I've got a this will be smaller <laughs> but for the minute I've got this and then um, it will hopefully fit in my case really nicely so that is what we are taking to the Philippines I know this may seem like a lot of stuff to some and to others it may be a lot less than you're even gonna ever think about packing but there are five of us and we each have our own kind of wants and needs in life so we have tried to accommodate every single person probably except Kev um, and made sure that everybody's got everything they really, really need and a few kind of extra items that they really, really want. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am really warm and Kev keeps telling me what you're gonna do when you go to the Philippines. I don't know, all right? I'll buy a fan and a hat and I'll stay indoors like a hermit. But it is really warm at the moment and um, doing all that took a lot. So I'm gonna pack this all away and hopefully it will all fit and be lovely and will weigh um, under the amount that we are meant to take. We are allowed 30 kilos per case. We've been hitting 18 for both with everything in them, so hopefully that will stay that way. And yeah, that's literally it. I really hope you have a good day and stick with our vlogs because there is gonna be so much more to come. Um, the next vlog will hopefully be us flying out. And yeah, I am gonna capture every single moment of this whole lifestyle choice and I hope you stick with us so have a great day and I will go and lie down now <laughs> bye guys